All right, the fifth thing I want to talk about is finding a community of support to help implement these things we've talked about uh, between the three of us. You know, why that is important to find uh, that support system, a group of peers that can help guide you and push you in the direction for better health. Uh, here at CrossFit by Overload, we have an amazing relationship with Rancho Family Medicine, and we've had this senior class for anyone that's part of their medical group uh, under their care. And they've been so nice to trust CrossFit Overload with their population of these seniors, and it has been nothing but a, a gigantic smile on my face to see you know, 40, 50 seniors coming in here to, to do CrossFit and to, do, to gain functional capacity that they never thought they could, you know, have again or get better at. So uh, I'll go to Dr. Vincent. Yeah. You know, how important is community and a support group when it comes to latching onto a regiment or, or being involved? It is extremely important because when you have a community, you know, you, it can be, technically it can be a community of one, but I mean, it's always better to have multiple people. And in that group, you would get accountability folks that are just similar to you, like wanting to have the same goals, same similar body type or something like that. You have obviously coaches or someone that's teaching you what to do. So that's guidance kind of takes the pressure off that you have to make it up as you go along. Cause a lot of folks tend to get defeated if they think it's so overwhelming. You know, yeah. when we talk about weight loss and we talk about functionality, I, I tell people all the time, it's like, look, before you start you know, sweating in your chair here, getting nervous about what you have to do, it doesn't have to be the huge before and after picture, go blow out and you know, spend thousands and thousands of dollars on, on new equipment kind of a yeah. thing. You know? Just throw money at it and you bought the equipment but then never know how to use it or anything like that. So it's really, really good to just have things to bounce off on. And then on the days where you're not feeling like you wanna do it or you're feeling like you don't want to um, go to the gym or you're not feeling like you want to do that exercise, to know that somebody's reliant on you to be there for them in the same capacity still pushes you to do that. So it's really important to have a community that, that you trust, a community that supports you, a community that's also going through it with you. Because I think a lot of times folks tend to get intimidated by just, you know, the whole somebody preaching down to you all the time, but it's a completely different concept and, and just perspective if you can go through it with someone and really benefit um, with it, because it takes all that peer pressure off and, and, er yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and everything. And you know, you guys as physicians under the Rancho Group, you, you, as you encourage these seniors to come in and, and exercise, and a senior that has never done CrossFit, walking through the front door of a CrossFit, I can only imagine how intimidating it might be to see you know, a bunch of really fit younger people throwing weights around, right? So I think that first step in the encouragement to go and do something and try something is a huge hurdle that we've miraculously overcame here. Yeah. And it's, an, it's not without everyone's effort that's gone into this to, to, to see the results we've seen. And um, I couldn't thank you both enough and Rancho you know, family for, for getting behind all this. And, yeah. and I know you guys hear about it all the time. Your seniors, oh, they, oh, yeah. they probably, absolutely. I love CrossFit. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> right. I did a burpee today. I'm sure you hear it all the time. No, um, right, I mean, and, and I think to that note, you know, not only is it helpful, like you've got people encouraging you, you've got people pushing you, but you've got people who are going to celebrate with you. Mm -hmm. So when you have those little victories, you know, whether it's the cane at the side and you're doing your exercise or you've done something for the first time, you know, or you've done a certain amount for the first time, you have people around you who know that and know you and they celebrate with you. And I mean, I think your joy just doubles when you've got to, when you've got an opportunity to celebrate with people and be celebrated by others in that context. Yeah, I think it, it just it just keeps increasing, and so yeah, I think I think Rancho is equally as excited about what you guys are doing here at CrossFit by Overlook. Yeah, we couldn't be happier to see you know again the smiles on the faces when they walk in, and uh, my favorite thing to hear is the uh, the the participants coming in telling me that they've told their their kids that they're doing CrossFit, mm -hmm. and their kids are like and they they say that their kids report, oh no you're not, and they're like no really I'm doing CrossFit. <laughs> it's the coolest thing to to see that myth debunked on you know who gets to walk through the front door. Yeah. Because sure. this is you know fitness is for everyone, health sure. yeah. is for everyone, yeah, yeah. it should be for everyone yeah. regardless of of age. Yeah, and right. uh, this has been a, an incredible journey over the last year and a half, uh, and I, I look forward to much yeah, more absolutely awesome cool. things happening. So. Absolutely. Uh, I think that's it. I thank you both for your time. Thank and you. I yes, you bet, John. Look to see you guys in the future. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Great.